Hey, it's Cal Forever here. Want to share more of this? Trying to get a lot of information out. I've been giving this information out for the longest time. I don't know if I've presented it very well, or very clearly to people, and I get better at it each day. So, this is about the harmonies of toning and resonances, especially where, like, you'll get reflecting sound within an acoustic space. So, I really like this space here, and you just like follow it intuitively, especially how it feels inside with the vibration and also like the vibration and like emotions are like the same thing it's like sound in like everything else like physically is like sound is like all the same thing as everything around right i don't know why i'm saying that but i'm gonna start with some own many padme hums which is the jewel within the heart om mani padme hum where there's, it's more like a pearl where it's like this bubble in the heart and it's like once you climb into that bubble then you can start cultivating it and, it and I'm not sure if it really gets bigger but it's like it at least leaks out to this bigger bubble you know and you see that in like uh, uh, pictures of deities and bodhisattvas like Kuan Yin and like Green Tara so I'll start with some Om Mani Padme Hums and just see where the sound takes me from there
get my gift out to the world and I've been like just emitting this frequency and resonating or radiating this divine love and putting in videos and putting the energy in videos and sun gazing and, and, and putting that solar energy into the videos and integrating it and it's like Akadala and it's like Toltec wisdoms and it's like like so much amazing stuff that I'm sharing with the world and people do not watch my fucking videos. People do not listen to my message that I'm sharing with the world and I'm like, fuck it, fuck everyone. I'm gonna fucking slice people open with the tones and the sound that I make and cut through their reality and their barriers and cut their cords and their delusions because I deserve to be fucking hurt. And you know what? People are not listening to me and it's like, ah, it's just like, Ah, it's like bugging the shit out of me and it's bugging the shit out of me for the past two years and you know what this shit was gone before I even started you know so it's like 
I feel like other people's shit is coming into my reality and then like I gotta bug it out of myself to help them just so I can be seen because we are interdependent with one and other and that's this Aquarius age and it's just, it's about individuality weaving together. You know, this is the weavers. We are the weavers. And it's about the you and I verse, the one song and all songs coming together and like a harmony and like a whole orchestra of of sound is how I see it. And that's just kind of my gift to share uniquely is, is, is my sound, you know, and everyone's got sounds. It's not just, it's not just about the throat chakra, you know, it, to me, it's about so much more. Especially for me, like I feel like my main gift isn't even singing, but that's just one way I can be heard, right? As long as people are listening and open to understand me from that jewel of in their heart, from that uh, pearl, that bubble of light and sound, and just like I'm not being heard, and so that's why I'm getting loud as fuck. I've been over here, hey, hey, I'm really loud, I'm in your face, I'm fucking make a lot of noise it's like like yeah you got selective fucking hearing a lot of people do you know they don't or they try to tune it out because they see how real it is they see how profound and how changing it is it's like oh i don't know about this like this is freaking weird feeling all this sounds this guy does like like what the fuck you know it's like oh. but it, i mean it's a lot of people i share it with like i've had people like Crying in front of me, listening to the sound in person, it's, it's, it's really powerful. And that, for me, has is, is been just as profound, if not more, because I'm kind of the person, since I was a kid, like, people didn't honor or respect me. People misunderstood me. And it's, it's, it's like, to see me do something that has such a deep, profound, emotional reaction within someone's heart, it's like you can feel their heart open. And it's like, like... Like that's a sign of trust for someone to cry in front of someone else like that. Like that's a sign of trust, and so that's to me a sign that I'm on the right path. And and so it's it's just like I don't know if I say it's like I don't want to say that that humbles me. It's like I feel like I've been humbled my whole life because no one's paid attention to me. Into like it's like it's like that just makes me feel good. It makes me feel like like that I'm worthwhile inside when when people react to me like that. And and it's like. I needed that, you know, people to do that and to respond to me and to reflect back to me. And I got loud, you know, I walked on the trails in Sedona for, you know, over a month and I went to the shops and shared my stuff. And, you know, a lot of people, especially in the new age community there, it's like, it's like they get stuck in the spiritual ego and it's like, you know, no one could be better than me spiritually. And, and I think, I think, I mean, I don't think that I'm better, but it's like I'm sharing my gift and people see that my gift is like really worthwhile and it's like the spiritual ego like starts to like deny it and it's like oh fuck man and, you know and some people didn't listen especially some people at some of those shops that was like yeah thank you thanks for paying attention it's like what do i do now i don't know <laughs> but so i'm making these videos and try and get them out there post them on my facebook maybe go to some some of the groups, some of those groups for spiritual communities are just like, oh, just like regurgitating what other people say, and like not fully understanding and having the realizations. And it's, it's like, to me, it all comes down to the Heart Sutra and understanding the Heart Sutra. No mind, no body, no your life, no, there's no death. <laughs> you know, it's like, those are things you know, no mind, no body, no life. Emptiness is form, form is emptiness, and no more, no less. Because those are things that you know. And to, I don't take no for an answer, right? I don't accept no for an answer, right? I accept that I may know something. And I don't even know if I've even had the realization of the heart suture. But that's what I seem to get from it every time. And nothing else. <laughs>